Today's video is going to discuss chapter 3-1, fractions and decimals. So we're going to start by taking a fraction and changing it into a decimal. And so you get a fraction that's 7 eighths, right, 7 over 8. We want to change this into a decimal. I know that this is going to be less than 1 because the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So I know this is going to be 0 point something. What I want to do is I want to take my calculator, I'm going to type the number zero, I'm sorry, seven, I'm going to hit divided by, and I'm going to hit type in eight, and I should get 0 0.875. Yeah, there are other ways to figure it out. For example, if you figured out what one eighth was, and you found that one eighth was 1.25, you could take 1.25, I'm sorry, 0 0.125, you could take the 0.125, you could multiply that times 7, and that would get you here. Right? And then obviously the, the longer way that some of you may know how to solve a division problem like this, you could end up dividing and getting this 0 0.875. But you're allowed to use a calculator, so don't be afraid to type this into the calculator as long as you know that this means it's a division problem. All right, the next thing I want to take a look at is... What happens when it's not such a pretty decimal? So you get something like 5 over 12. Okay, so the idea is I take my calculator, type 5 divided by 12, and I'm going to get something a little bit odd that looks probably like this. Right? And eventually my calculator is going to say 7. So this means that the 6 is repeating, but the 4 and the 1 are not. So I need to write this as 0 0.41 and then just a line over the 6. And that line means that it repeats and it goes on forever. Now, if you get a problem like the second one, 7 ninths, I type 7 divided by 9 into the calculator, and I get 0 0.7777, and eventually my calculator is probably going to say 8. Okay, but this is because the 7s continue to repeat, this becomes 0 0.7 with a line over the 7. All right, and finally, let's take a look at when we have to order fractions and decimals. So we're going to put these in order. We're going to use greater than, I'm sorry, less than, greater than, or equal to as we describe them. And so I'm looking at one-fourth and 0 0.2. And I know that you can either turn this into a fraction, so we're ordering fractions, or this particular problem, it's probably easier to make them both decimals. Changing this to a decimal, 1 divided by 4, or if you know what one-fourth of a dollar is, this is 0 0.25. I know that this is 0 0.2. Remember that there could be a 0 on the end of that. So 0 0.25 is greater than 0 0.2. And then if I come down here to the five, negative 5 eighths and negative 6 ninths, negative 5 eighths, if I change this to a decimal, it becomes negative 0 0.625. Right, so it's 5 divided by 8. And over here, this is negative 0 0.6 repeating. So the question is, which one is larger? Remember, this is like 666, and this is 625. So while the 666 is actually larger than the 625, remember, these are negative numbers, which means that negative 0 0.25 is actually closer to 0 than negative 0 0.6 repeating. So this fraction is larger because it is closer to zero since they're on the negative side. All right, thank you very much for watching the video. Please don't forget to finish the problems on the bottom of the page, and I'll see you in class.